I just had a coffee all by myself sitting in a cafe and I enjoyed it. It was so worth it. Last night, I was doing my grocery shopping online when I was just about to pay. I noticed something at the side and it said, you have $10 and like 81 cents to redeem in loyalty points. I was like, I'm going to redeem them. So $8 or $10 and 81 cents came off my bill and um, I transferred that savings into the thousand dollar project account. Now, today nothing um, really that exciting happened, like no like amazing money manifestations happened and um, this whole, like since the beginning of March, I've had such a high vibration of energy and happiness, but for some reason I was just a bit flat tonight, which is the first time I felt like this um, for the month. And I was sort of thinking about, you know, manifesting March. I'm like, I started to question myself. I was like, am I being silly or crazy? You know, and I kind of was like laughing at myself. Anyway, I went downstairs and was sorting through the bills and fortunately there were no bills. I should just point that out. But there were um, my dividend statements saying, you know, confirming that my dividends had been reinvested and my and that's the port the portfolio growing. That is a thousand dollar project portfolio growing as well. And you know what? It's not dividends because I'm choosing to reinvest them for future compounding growth opportunities, which is a powerful thing. So um, you know what? Money manifestations are appearing in all forms and at all different points. And I've got to remember, like, whilst nothing might be physically presenting itself, there is magic and magic manif money manifesting behind the scenes, like, quietly bubbling away. I can feel it. I just need to be prepared and ready um, for when it does want to present itself. So that's just helped, like, perk my spirits back up again. Also, I did have one little frustration. Um, I tried a new dry cleaner out and I was in a hurry and I had to get something altered. I just needed the hem to be taken up on a dress and I'm pretty sure I didn't question about the price because anyway, long story short, I picked up the stuff today. They charged me $45 to take the hem up on a dress and it was not a complicated dress at all. And then they charged me $25 to get a dress dry cleaned, which they didn't even do a good job dry cleaning. So it's, initially I was frustrated and annoyed at myself and then I thought, you know what, it's okay. You, your power is just in not going back there for business again. So I, I will make sure that I don't um, drop my dry cleaning or alterations off there again. And also I will learn to, when I'm, you know, as I learned from Frugal February, when you're in a rush or disorganized or running late, that is when errors happen. So try and be a bit more plant, like, plan and organize my time a little bit more so that I do have the time to stop and think and ask how much is that going to cost before I agree to do it. So a little like money lesson to learn. Okay. Yesterday, I'm so sorry, I didn't get a chance to vlog, but some pretty cool things happened. Um, one, we filmed a very special video, the story behind um, Sophia and Giuseppe. And um, we had a few people helping us with the production because it's something I wanted to do, showing people inside my home and not be like kind of with a stagnant camera. Anyway, um, some people were here and they came up with a little bit of a business opportunity, which we're going to take into further um, conversations, which is really cool. Um, the other thing happened, um, the most amazing vet came to my house to help film this video because we were talking about pets and particular dogs, um, signs of happiness and how to ensure that your dog is like happy and healthy. Anyway, he noticed that Giuseppe had a bit of a problem with his back leg and um, offered a um, treatment for free to try and fix it. And he's the only vet so far that's been able to actually say something different than what all the other vets are saying. So I have a really positive feeling. And um, another uh, really cool thing happened is I just found some sunglasses <laughs> that have been missing for about nine months and they were, I only owned them for a couple of weeks and then they went missing and I was really annoyed and upset by it. So um, I found them. So that's really great because I've been waiting to go and replace the ones that went missing. So I don't need to do that anymore. So again, manifesting ways coming up in so many different areas in my life, which is really cool. Also, another thing, I've got a busy weekend. I'm going to the races um, with Tom to see some of the horses that he treats race. And um, I've also realized um, whilst no more actual money has manifested itself um, over the last couple of days, 
I'm gonna have to get out there and do something. So tomorrow I have dedicated the day to listing things on Gumtree, listing things on eBay, listing things on high end, carousel, all of those websites. So I'm gonna get busy making things actually happen because I've got a goal in mind of how much money I want to try and manifest for the month, month of March and that is $4,000 because that's a really good kickstart of what I want to achieve from doing round three of the thousand dollar project. Well, another amazing thing happened um, yesterday, which I completely forgot to mention. Um, I've just found out the thousand dollar project, my new book, is actually number four as bestsellers on Booktopia's list. It's up there with The Barefoot Investor and The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, which is incredible, number four, and that's non fiction bestsellers for Booktopia. So if you haven't already got yourself a copy, please make sure you do and me please make sure you send me that email so I can send you the exclusive access video because that's not going on YouTube. Only the people who buy the book get to actually see it. But that is such an incredible blessing. Like I've never ever expected to have a book on anyone's bestseller list, let alone like Booktopia. Amazing. So hopefully, you know, the thousand dollar project movement continues on around the world, not just in Australia. And people are using the thousand dollar project for not just one financial goal but a progression of lots of different financial goals as they I guess evolve and strengthen their own financial situation so I'm really proud of that that put such a smile on my face last night when I read that email